No way. Wait, no way, no way. It's finally here. Hey, Pikmin 2! Wait a sec. No. No! What the fuck? Man, I love waiting 10 years for a new Pikmin game. I wish Pikmin 4 was easier. I can't seem to make it past this stupid boss. Nintendo made the right choice, cutting an entire location out of Pikmin 3. A shorter game made for speedrunning is definitely what I want in a Pikmin game. I'm happy we never got any online features in Pikmin 4. It would have ruined the old school Pikmin experience. The submerged castle is the worst cave in the series. No! Okay, alright, well... The emergence cave was way better. These characters have so much personality, I really want to see them return in Pikmin 5. The Pebble Pitcher is exactly how I imagined multiplayer for Pikmin 4, especially in the year 2023. The Bog Swallow is my favorite enemy. The Pikmin short movies were a waste of time. They should have focused on making Hey Pikmin 2 instead. I have a very healthy social life, and a good diet too. I wish this tutorial was longer. I love reading an hour of dry dialogue before I get to play the actual game. Baldmen suck. I'm happy they never made it past Pikmin 2. Oh, I'm definitely gonna listen to this song at the gym. Being able to create our own character is so much better than having a real protagonist with a personality and proper dialogue. Like, look at this. He can have green hair. I love when a giant boulder comes falling from the sky and kills half my squad. It's totally balanced. Having multiple landing locations was a mistake. I'd much rather spend half the day carrying a treasure across the map. It feels more rewarding. We don't need any more Pikmin types. Nine is more than enough. I go on Twitter because I care for my mental health. The Emperor Ball Blacks peaked in Pikmin 2. The Forest Naval is such a beautiful map. The combination of brown, gray, and more gray makes it very pleasant to look at. Night Mode was a terrible addition to the series. It's too scary. Pikmin 1 has the best pathing and overall mechanics in the series. Ochi was way too weak in Pikmin 4. He should have been buffed. Maybe given the ability to fly, that seems pretty balanced. This timeline definitely makes sense. I only like the bread bug because everyone else does, when in reality, I couldn't care less about this thing. Purple Pikmin are totally balanced in Pikmin 2, and if you say otherwise, you're a hater. I hate the way Rock Pikmin sound. It doesn't even sound like a Pikmin anymore. They should have stuck to the original sound effect. Hey Pikmin deserves a sequel, and it should also be on the 3DS. I'm glad Purple and White Pikmin got nerfed in Pikmin 3, and thank god they weren't in the main campaign. Seven is way too many types to manage at once. Thank god the Piliated Snagrit never returned. It has no- <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> Thank god the Piliated Snagrit never returned. It has no personality. Let's get another ball board instead. Louis is my least favorite character in the series. Brittany is my favorite character. <laughs> Pokemon Sword and Shield has way better graphics than Pikmin 4 and it's not even close. Netflix should make a live-action TV show of the first Pikmin game, starring Tom Holland as Olimar. Ah, thank god we didn't get Puffman back. This is so much better. We don't need DLC for Pikmin 4. I'm satisfied with all the content we got. I'm definitely not gonna send death threats to Nintendo. Pokemon Go is so much better than Pikmin Bloom, but I'm just too stubborn to admit it. I'm mentally over the age of 10. Olimar is such a boring character. I could care less about his stupid wife and kids. I'm glad we never got to see the upstairs of the hero's hideaway, even though it was already programmed into the game. Nintendo had the right idea only letting us explore two rooms of the entire house. Wonderful game design. This Regans guy seems pretty cool, so I'm not gonna leave a like and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Okay, but in all seriousness, if you enjoyed this sarcastic ass video, show me some love in the comments and let me know something you'd never hear a Pikmin player say.
But with all that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you whenever I decide to make another video. Okay, but in all seriousness, where the hell is Hey Pikmin 2?